Hello, welcome to Polyphonic Press. My name is Jeremy Boyd, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new album by Eels, entitled Wonderful Glorious. Here we go. So Eels are an American alternative rock band. Uh, they've been around since about 1995, and their only consistent member is uh, Mark Oliver Everett, uh, better known by his stage name E. They've been very prolific since their inception in the mid-1990s, and have released about 10 albums since then. And that brings us to this album, entitled Wonderful Glorious. So this album starts off with a song called Bombs Away, and it's got this huge bombastic drum sound with a lot of fuzz guitars and electric pianos and things like that. The vocals are a little bit bluesy, a little bit angry, and it kind of sounds like he's singing them out of a megaphone. They're uh, really sort of in the mid-range, and a lot of distortion on them and things like that, um, which really gives it a sort of a, a, an announcing kind of vibe to it. There's this weird sort of breakdown in the middle where the music stops completely and all you really hear is like a popping of a vinyl record or something like that. Um, the, and the feel and the, the overall tone of the song changes completely, but the vocal melody kind of stays the same it's just sort of a different feel underneath it I like this track as an opener because it's sort of all over the place and it really kind of makes you expect the unexpected and really anything can happen throughout the whole album the song accident prone is much more of a straightforward kind of song uh, it's just got two electric guitars with a little bit of organ in there for flavoring um, and it's it's a sort of a slow ballad kind of song and it's the production is very understated there's no drums on it or anything like that um, it's very minimalist and the production kind of serves the song. It's, it doesn't require a lot of unnecessary noises or anything like that. The most important thing is the song itself rather than the production that goes into it. He sort of lets the song speak for itself and he doesn't require anything extra or anything like that. It's pretty powerful on its own. The song On the Ropes feels very much like an old kind of country song with the vocal performance, uh, the arrangement, and the sound of the electric guitars. Again, it's pretty straightforward, uh, but it does kind of throw you a curveball because you're really not expecting a country song to come out of this album or even this band. Um, but having said that, this is a really beautifully written song and uh, it's just definitely a highlight for me on this album. I know this band is known for sort of doing some experimental stuff Stuff and, and things like that, but I think at the true essence of it, the this they have really great songs, and I think that's the most important thing. It's like you can have a whole bunch of different tricks and things like that, but if you don't have really well written songs to back it up, you don't really have anything. And I don't think this band is suffering from that. I think um, they sort of start with really great songs and then just sort of see where they can take them, rather than you know starting with an idea and layering a whole bunch of things on it that really makes it sound unnecessary and makes it sound like you're trying to hide something. Um, at the true essence of this band is really great written songs. Getting back to the bluesy kind of garage rock feel uh, is a song called New Alphabet and it really is kind of dirty and it feels like it was just slapped together in someone's garage. This is again another highlight for me because it's just a really great rock and roll song that is pretty simple on the surface, but, uh, you know, it has uh, uh, dynamic undertones and has a lot of complications going on underneath that are really subtle, but they are there. Uh, on the surface, it's a really simple song, but underneath there's sort of uh, complex things going on. An example of that would be like, uh, so there's sort of like a string section towards the end of the song, just kind of elevates the song from being a straight ahead rock and roll song, which would have been fine on its own, but just sort of gives it a uh, a little different kind of vibe and sort of turns it in a, a different sort of direction than it would normally go. The album ends with the title track, uh, Wonderful Glorious, uh, which is a really groovy kind of song. It kind of reminds me of an old soul song or something from Motown or something like that. Not necessarily the song overall, but uh, just the, the, the feel of the song, the way the bass and the drums are locked in with each other. After the chorus, there's a bit of a breakdown with just a vocal melody, which uh, sounds an awful lot like the Beach Boys, some of the uh, vocal harmonies and textures that Brian Wilson would 
uh, right. This song kind of has everything. It's a little bit psychedelic. It's a little poppy. Uh, it's definitely got some rock elements in there as well. It's a lot like the opening track where it's very eclectic and there's a lot of things going on, uh, but they all kind of work together, kind of like a machine. The production on this album is pretty well done. Uh, the drums kind of vary quite a bit. Uh, sometimes they sound really huge and bombastic like the opening track, and sometimes they can be really dry. Uh, it almost sounded like they were recorded in, in the 70s or something like that. But the sonic texture definitely changes from song to song, and I kind of like the eclecticness of this album. Uh, sometimes if uh, an album is all over the place that can hurt it, uh, while consistency is good, I think in this case the fact that each song is so different really works to, to make the album something interesting. Um, you can have each song uh, be different from the last if each song is interesting and if, if it flows nicely. Um, it does, didn't feel like it was choppy or anything like that. Um, it felt like they uh, spent a lot of time sequencing the album and uh, figuring out which song, which order the songs should be in. There's not much more I can say about this album. I like it quite a bit, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So anyway, that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or with the video response. And if you'd like to suggest an album, please leave that in the comments as well. And uh, I guess that's about it. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. <laughs>